This is your boy Jamar Four here once again, and this is not going to be long, I swear it, because I finally sat down and watched these new Housewives, the Real Housewives of Potomac, and oh my god, <laughs> oh my god, just in that first episode, I already felt like I was getting a migraine, I felt myself looking at my TV like, for a majority of the episode, and I'm just like, I don't know if I can do these hoes. <laughs> I'm going to give them a few more episodes and give them a chance. But as of right now, I'm, I already, I just finished watching like literally minutes ago. And I just feel annoyed. <laughs> I feel annoyed. And, but we're going to just briefly talk about, you know, what happened in this season or se and series premiere. So we have five bitches, right? <clears throat> and let's see. Let me see if I can get, remember all their names, child. We got Giselle. We have Robin. We have Katie. And we have Karen. And we have Chrisette. I think is that her name? Chrissy? Something like that. <laughs> One of the two. Okay. So far, honestly, of those five women, I think I can only tolerate two so far. And the two that I can tolerate are Giselle and Robin. And I'm going to tell you why. First of all, just because they seem like the more roundabout type of women, or at least the most relatable women on this show, as far as just regular people um, and just, well... Yeah, just, just, they're just the people that I feel like I relate to the most, the people that I'm the more interested in. I think, um, I want to say Katie's okay so far. <clears throat> Excuse me. She hasn't really done anything wrong, but I, eh, I'm just not interested in her, at least at this point. But, um... Giselle's funny. Giselle's beautiful, in my opinion. She's a very, very nice-looking woman. Uh, she has, you know, three little girls, and she's she's actually kind of funny. She's entertaining. I like to see her on screen. And Robin, Robin is also beautiful, <laughs> beautiful woman. Now, the whole thing about Miss Robin is she, uh, you know, when she was giving her background and her current, you know, family situation. My name Robin's ex-husband was fine as hell, but. When she was explaining the fact that her and her husband are no longer together and they're fully divorced and everything, but yet he lives in the house and still sleeps in the same bed for the sake of the kids. Now, I mean, I was never really a fond believer of staying together for the sake of the kids because it I don't I don't believe in I don't believe in the long run it really helps. But uh, sleeping in the same bed, though, like, it's not like y'all are in a one-bedroom apartment. There's other beds that he could sleep in. And, but are y'all supposed to be divorced and y'all still choosing to sleep in the same bed? Y'all fucking. Y'all fucking. This, y'all may not be divorced, but that ain't stopped y'all from doing this, you know? So, don't be too like, oh, it's just for the kids. Bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> and he came in and she was trying on a wedding dress because she was trying to, I guess, uh, pass it down to, uh, or give it to, uh, oh, excuse me, give it to Giselle so she can maybe pass it to her daughters or something. But when her husband came in, I was like, oh, how you doing? <laughs> um, so that's her. And then you got, uh, Karen. Karen... Before I get no, before I get to those last two, let me let me get Katie out of the way. Katie's cute. Katie's a little miss girl. She comes from a philanthrop, you know, a philanthropic background and family. Okay, that's all well and dandy. Um, and she only dates white boys. Nothing wrong with that. Your preference is your preference. And it looks like when she was sitting in that restaurant with her boyfriend, I am not the only one who thinks, oh. 
What's his name? I don't even remember his name. What's his name is uh, Katie's or homegirl's gay best friend. Because when he was talking and I was just looking at his mannerisms, just how he was looking, I'm just like, this dude is a queen. He's a queen. Not to be, you know, offensive, but I'm just, that was my first thought. I'm like, oh, okay, that's our gay best friend. Let's see what they're going to talk about. And then when it said a little panel at the bottom, it said Katie's boyfriend. I'm like, the fuck? What you mean? What you mean? That's your mm, girl. Are we have another Kim Field situation. <laughs> I'm just saying, he just gave me gay to ease. But she said, "Oh, she likes him, and he does this, and he does that." Okay, well, maybe. But I just have maybe I have to see him in a different light because I was just like, okay. Mm. If you like it, I love it, girl. But I'm just saying, off first impression, all right. <laughs> now we get to Miss Miss first Miss Karen. Ah, mm, both them hoes, Karen and Chrissy, Chrisette, Cr Cr whatever the bitch name is, both of them hoes rub me the wrong way. They are. I can see already from the first episode. These are going to be the petty baddies of the bunch. God, I can't stand these type of people. First of all. Okay, Karen had this party. I'm just gonna get to the the meat of this situ of this episode, as far as you know the backgrounds of all the hoes. Karen has this party, the throne in her honor. Okay, where all the women that are on this cast were invited, and I think one cast friend or something. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry about that. And. <laughs> This is where we first get to meet Chrisette, Chriselle, whatever her name is. I'm going to have her name right for the next episode if I decide to watch the next episode. So, they're all there, but Karen is late. Okay, the guest of honor is late. So, the, the waitress comes over and asks, do they want drinks? Are you ready to order or whatever? And Robin and Giselle, who are the girls that I actually kind of like on this cast, um, are like, well, shit. Homegirl is late. Uh, I think I want to try X, Y, and Z, Elemental P. And um, Chrisette, Chrisette, Kashuga, whatever her name was, is sitting over there like, oh, you can't order your food till the, the guest of honor arrived. Now, mind you, I understand that you don't want to order food and be eating while the other person gets there and then they have to watch you eat. But at the same time, it's not the, if the bitch is late, the bitch is late. Just because she's a guest of honor, don't excuse her ass. Especially if, like, how they were saying at the end that she was, like, at least uh, 40, 30, 40 minutes late. Shit. <laughs> and we at a restaurant. And look. You, look. I I mean, I get it, but that whole, I, mm -mm. <laughs> I would have been just like them, like, well, look. We'll eat when she get here, too, shit. It ain't even about us eating. We just here to spend time with one another, shit. But she's like, oh no, I'll, I'll wait for the guest of honor to arrive, bitch. And then, um, Karen, now look, let me mind you, Karen, it looks like her skin is just flat, but I feel like she got the turkey neck situation going on. And her and Chrishell are like, oh, it's supposed to be my party and Giselle is sitting in the center of the table. I think Katie said that too. I'm just like, did I, I just wouldn't even have thought about that, to be honest with you. Maybe it's just something that doesn't matter to me. But for you to like legit feel, a, like for you to legit feel a way about sitting at a table. What? <laughs> then I'm going to go ahead. Since we're on this, the subject, they were talking or whatever. At the end, uh, they had a discussion about. You know, the whole how they felt about it and how she felt like that was inappropriate and improper and shit. And I was like, Giselle, Giselle said, well, I would have gladly moved, girl, but you didn't say anything. So I thought nothing of it, bitch. And you that's why I'm like, I'm one of the people, if you have a problem, don't expect me to read your mind and figure out with you that you have a problem. If you don't state it to me. I'm not going to know. And then you're going to be sitting over there mad and upset and feeling some type of way. And I'm going to be sitting there looking confused. And you're going to expect me to know what the hell you're worried that you're uh, pissed about. And I'm just like, no. I mean, 
I, w- I would have gladly moved if I'd known what the fuck that this was going to be an issue, bitch. And she tried it because she tried to give her a, a plaque with the five etiquette rules of hosting a party. Bitch, I would have threw that thing in the back of her face. Like, girl, you don't get this out of my face. Shit, next time, I'm going to hand you a rule book that says, speak the fuck up. <laughs> if you got something you need to say, don't sit there and try to bring me a, a plaque with... Re- I... Th- oh. <laughs> girl I just I just don't know I just don't know about these hoes then this other bitch this Chriselle Croissant whatever her name is I'm gonna start calling her Croissant um so I guess they're inviting she's inviting Giselle over for a crab boil and Giselle brings uh, her hairstylist friend or whatever and so, already, Croissant is like, well, I didn't know he was going to be bringing a guest, and, and or I didn't know she was going to be bringing a guest, and, you know, had she called ahead of time, I guess I would have said it's okay. Now, that, okay, I understand that. If I invite you to my house to do something to hang out, you tell me that you're inviting somebody that I don't know with you. That, okay, I'm so far, I'm with you, so far, I'm with you. And I guess... She went upstairs to get ready for the the rest of the party or whatever. <laughs> Excuse me. And then, uh, ooh. Ooh. sorry, sorry, it's late. <laughs> and then, um, her and her friend, I don't think I caught his name. Her and her friend are trying to, you know, get the crab oil together. And they're trying to figure out where stuff is in the kitchen. And she's upstairs talking to her makeup artist, or uh, like, oh, they're downstairs. All I hear is pots and pans stuff banging, this, that, and the fourth. And I'm just like, I hope they ain't fucking up my kitchen. And this isn't how you're supposed to behave when you come to somebody's house. I'm like, what are they doing? All they're doing, they're, they're, asked, they're literally trying to ask you, hey, we need such and such to put the crabs in. What can we put the crabs in? And she, you acting like she's down there acting like a fucking barbarian or something. I'm just like... This bitch, I already tell me and you like on like I'm gonna have a lot to say about you <laughs> during this whole season if you keep this bullshit going. So then, when a homegirl, you know, and her friend come upstairs, now mind you, she felt a, she felt a way about you know them coming upstairs, especially the friend calling her, you know, and saying, "Hey, what's this? What's that?" Like I don't even know you, and why are you coming up my stairs? I can, okay, a, a part of me, okay, I can get that. But for you to be like, can you guys just stay downstairs before I ask you to get the fuck out, basically? Oh, and Giselle was like, is, it, is she talking to me? <laughs> and it was just the whole thing. I'm just like, bitch. And then you were late for your own shit. You, every, she was downstairs, changed and, you know, hair done or whatever, greeting your guests because you're still upstairs trying to get ready. Like, and then you want to sit there and act a fool and she's helping you boil your crabs? I think not. I think not. I would have told that bitch, fuck you and your party. I would have let them, I just would have been sat in there, let, like, go get that bitch, she upstairs. <laughs> Shit. And... It, it had that whole party, and then Karen wanted to get out of all of her feelings. I'm just like, ah, I was annoyed. I was truthfully annoyed at these hoes. Like, I don't know if I would. I don't know if I can deal with this, y'all. <laughs> I don't know if I can do it. But I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I'm. St- I am an interested just enough to watch episode two and see where this goes from here. But as of right now, girl, I mm, this whole etiquette thing and oh, we live in Potomac. We don't act like that in Potomac. I can't. I want to punch them. <laughs> Anyways, that was this review of this series premiere and child. But y'all, let me know what y'all thought about it. And I'm going to actually watch everybody else's review because I want to see how everybody else reacted to this shit because I just don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Like, share, subscribe. Jamar, Washington, Washington, Washington.